Sapien, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's, this is the first video of 2020. I'm super excited. Thank you all for joining me here. Thank you for everybody who's been here from the start. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, hi, hello, how are you? <laughs> Today I'm gonna share with you a super fire recipe for a vegetable pot pie. This recipe is loaded with amazing vegetables. Feel free to mix and match vegetables that you enjoy and just kind of make this recipe your own. There is no right or wrong way to really do this. All you need is a few simple ingredients and we're using a pie crust that is already made, making the recipe even easier. This is perfect for if you're just starting out eating vegan or if you're just wanting to try something new. This is a great dinner if you do Meatless Mondays and I know that everybody in your family will enjoy. So if you're interested to find out how I made this, then keep on watching. I've already chopped and peeled all of my vegetables. I'm going to be using baby bella mushrooms, butternut squash, celery, carrots, and potatoes. And I've also sliced a whole white onion. In a large pot filled with cold water, we're gonna add our diced potatoes, butternut squash, and carrots. We're gonna put this on the stove to boil for about eight minutes. We don't wanna cook the vegetables entirely. We just wanna cook them enough so that they aren't crunchy when we add them to our pot pie filling. In a non-stick skillet, we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of vegan butter. Um, all the measurements for this recipe will be in the description box along with the entire recipe, so be sure to check there for for the full recipe. We're gonna let the butter melt and then to that we're going to add our onions and our celery. We're gonna give that a good stir and let that saute for about one to two minutes. After that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our mushrooms. Again, go ahead and give that another good stir and we are going to let those cook together for another one to two minutes. Then we're gonna add in some minced garlic. I have minced garlic that's already pre-minced, but feel free to use fresh garlic. I just didn't have any on hand. Now we're gonna add in some fresh herbs and spices. I love cooking with fresh herbs and spices because I feel like it adds so much more flavor to your recipes. So right here I'm using some fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. Now you're seeing me add a bunch of dry seasonings like garlic powder, salt, pepper. I love cooking with parsley. I think I put that in everything and some Italian seasoning. We're gonna give that another good stir and let that cook together for about one minute. Now we're gonna add in our flour so that we can create our thick, rich, creamy, delicious sauce for our pot pie filling. Go ahead and give that a really good stir. You, just, you don't wanna burn this, so just keep stirring it frequently until the flour kind of dissolves into your vegetable mixture. And then we're gonna begin adding in our veggie broth. I kind of do this a little bit at a time. Um, I don't add the full measurement of the broth in. I kind of take my time, slowly pour it in, mix a little bit. When I see it thickening up, I go ahead and add more until I've added all of the broth to my mixture. And I like using a whisk because it prevents the mixture from getting clumpy. After that, we're going to whisk in unsweetened almond milk. Feel free to use whichever non-dairy milk you prefer to cook with. Then we're gonna add in frozen peas. And at this point, our vegetables that we're boiling should be ready. So we're gonna go ahead and drain those and then add them to our mixture and gently fold them into the mixture. It's not a recipe by me if I didn't forget to do something. So I am adding in this uh, not chicken bouillon. I probably should have added this when I added all my spices. So if you're gonna use this, do this when you add your spices. But it was all good because it dissolved really quickly with the mixture since it was already hot. But yeah, so I just went ahead and added in one, gave it a good stir, and this adds so much flavor. So don't skip this step. We're gonna give that one last good stir and then remove it off of the stove and add the mixture into our casserole dish. Then I am using some store-bought pie crust. Feel free to make your own pie crust if you've got the time. 
this day I did not, so I went ahead and brought it. It also is just perfect for convenience for busy nights. Um, and you can find pie crusts, right, uh, already made pie crusts at any grocery store. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay this flat on top of the mixture and kind of pinch the sides together. Not gonna lie, never did this before, so I was trying to figure out how I was gonna make this look cute. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of just pinching the sides together to create a little crust. And then I went ahead and pierced the center with a knife. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this because I didn't want to ruin it. Um, but it actually it worked out well, you know, just for a little added ventilation. And then we're going to go ahead and stick this into the oven that is already preheated at 350. And we're going to bake this for about 30 minutes. Once your pot pie is ready, go ahead and take it out the oven and let it cool for a few minutes and then serve it. You guys, this has definitely become one of my favorite recipes. It's so comforting, but it's filled with so many vegetables. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. So it is a healthy meal. <laughs> um, I definitely recommend giving this recipe a try. You will not be disappointed. Definitely tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your recreations of this. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so and make sure to turn on your notifications so that you never miss a video from me. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.